And welcome back to the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show at 24. It is game number two of the National League Divisional Series between the San Diego Padres and the Cincinnati Reds. If you missed game number one, link is in the description down below along with every other episode of the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode. But game number one, the Reds did enough early to get out to a 4 nothing lead. And in the ninth inning, Camilo Doval gave up three runs, not before Mason Miller came in to get one out and get the save in order for the Reds to hold on by a score of four to three. So the Padres were that close to winning game number one. Here we go, the final game here in Cincinnati until game five, if necessary, obviously game three in San Diego, game four in San Diego as well. Again, if necessary, if we need more than three games. Tonight on the mound will be Jose Urquidy for the Cincinnati Reds. He had a tremendous regular season for Cincinnati in his first season after being traded over over from the Houston Astros. We will see what he does in his first Reds postseason start. We are still waiting on the return for Will Benson. It is looking more and more likely that Benson will not return until the NLCS if we get there. So in his replacement, we have Xavier Isaac DHing for now. Obviously, SDU Ruiz is still a big part of this team as well. Ruiz will hit against lefties, and of course, Isaac will be hitting against right-handed pitching. Jose Urquidy in the regular season, 19-5 record, 2.47 ERA. He'll get hostile on Kim first, and Kim gonna blast one to left field, but straight two to Oscar Hernandez. One gone, Garrett Hampson batting 385 in this postseason so far. Obviously, the Padres took care of the Phillies in two games in the wild card round, and Hampson's on with a one out single. Here comes Fernando Tatis Jr. Hampson looking to run. I wasn't all that ready, I'll be honest with you, with Shea Langoliers. It's going to be a stolen base of second for Hampson, and now Tatis gonna blast one to left field, but straight in the glove of Teoscar Hernandez. Allowed out for the second in one of the inning. Jesus Sanchez on the 3-2 count will walk. They're now in the corners after a passed ball and now Xander Bogart's gonna blast one to right center and the Padres picking up right where they left off from game number one. Bogart's is gonna drive in at two. It's gonna be a two out RBI double for Xander Bogart. That will of course drive in two runs in the process and Jake Cronenworth now launches one to right field just like he did last night. Cronenworth makes it for nothing. So with one inning, the Padres have already hit for more runs than they did in game number one. Four nothing Padres. Salas gonna strike out on that pitch in, but four nothing and a four run cushion for Dylan Lesko, who is brilliant in the regular season, given over a limited sample size, 32 innings, but a 2.5 ERA. You'll get Ellie De La Cruz first, and Ellie gonna hit one in the air. That ball, though, is going to stay in the park. It will be caught in right by one Fernando Tatis Jr. Here comes TJ Friedel. On the 1 1 pitch, he's gonna get one to fall into left center field. Friedel's on with a one out base knock. Bringing up Bryce Harper, you know, he shows up in the postseason, but Harper just misses a fastball right down the middle. It'll be the second out of the inning. And out of the plate will be the four spot, which is Kyle Tucker. He comes up on a 3-2 looking for his first hit of the playoffs. Definitely should not have taken a swing at that one. It is just, it's a pitch down and in that wasn't even close. We go on to the top of the second. Kyle Isbell leading things off here for San Diego. He'll drop down the bunt, and that one is going to be on for a base knock. It's an infield single for Isbell. He'll be on first base for Tommy Edmond, the switch hitter. Elite de la Cruz with a diving play, but everybody is safe. He just can't make the throw. We'll still have no outs. Runners on first and second. Urquidy really pitching in some danger right now. He will get hostile on Kim to ground out. So we've got runners on second and third. One out for Garrett Hampson. Picked up a hit in his first at-bat. This time he will hit one to Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez is going to come up throwing as they will try to tag the lead runner. And it will be a double play. Don't know why they went for that, but we will take it for nothing. Still the score, and we just need some production with the bats right now. I get it's only been one inning, but I mean, come on. Look at the guys we have on this team. Matt McLean will ground out. There'll be two gone in the inning. Next up will be the seven spot, which is Xavier Isaac. What an impact he's made so far on this team. But Isaac gonna go down swinging on that Lesko curveball as we now head on to the top of the third. El Nino leading things off, swinging a miss. Curveball away by Urquidy will get him. Now up, Jesus Sanchez on the one-two pitch. Sanchez swinging a miss. Back-to-back -back K's on the curveball. Urquidy now gets Xander Bogarts. Make it three in a row. Three straight strikeouts for Urquidy as we go into the bottom half of the third inning. Still though, the Reds looking to break through. Yes, we had the TJ Friedel single, but other than that, 
No other base runners for the Reds so far tonight. As Spencer Steer will not get on, he will fly out into left field over to one Jesus Sanchez. Now up will be the leadoff man in Ellie De La Cruz, and Ellie will have our second hit of the night. That one goes back up the middle. So a two out base runner for the Reds. You know the speed De La Cruz possesses, and he'll try to take second here on that 2 1 pitch. Obviously, with the 99 speed, it is easy. So now, can TJ Friedel bring him in? 2 2 offering by Lesko, and Friedel cannot. Swing and a miss. The Reds are held scoreless through three innings. And Jose Arquiti, four straight strikeouts now on that paint away against Cronenworth. Salas going to put the ball in play. There is a routine second out on the ground out. 2-1 Ellie De La Cruz. Two down at four Kyle Isbell. Isbell on the ground at right to Matt McLean. Actually, tough play for McLean. And yeah, he can't get it to Bryce Harper. On the hop, Harper can't scoop it. Runner on first with two outs. Tommy Edmond is the batter, and he will just give kind of an excuse me swing on that one. We will go on to the bottom of the fourth, down for nothing. Bryce Harper gets a curveball that you think is very hittable for him, but unfortunately, Bryce is 0 for 2 so far tonight with two very hittable baseballs that he did get out on. Kyle Tucker now in a 3 2 pitch is going to fly out in to right. We've got two down in the inning for Teoscar Hernandez. On the 2 2 pitch, Teo hits one hard on the ground, right to short and straight to Ha Sung Kim. We move on to the fifth. Still 4-0 the score. Ha Sung Kim is the batter and the leadoff man for the Padres. He will, though, ground out to Matt McClain. And Jose Arquiti, you know, this is pitch 101 to Garrett Hampson. And it is a fly out to center field to TJ Friedel. Arquiti did struggle early, but giving up four runs in that first inning, he has responded very well. The Padres, okay, Tatis is going to get one into left field, but other than that first inning, still no runs for San Diego. We just haven't been able to back our key up at all. Jesus Sanchez in the one, two. Oh, it's just gonna hit his foot. We have to pull Arquiti here, first and second, 110 pitches. Michael Kopech comes out to make his first ever postseason appearance, and he will get Xander Bogarts looking on a slider away. Tremendous pitch by Kopech to get us out of that jam. But again, the bats can't get going, but a self-inflicted wound by the Padres will be able to get McLean on with that drop through strike. And thanks to McLean being in motion, that is not a double play ball by Xavier Isaac. McLean moves to second with one out for Shea Langoliers. Can we just get something on the board? Shea going to hit one hard. Deep left center field. Going back on into the warning track. Oh, it's off the glove of the center fielder, Kyle Isbell. Do we have enough to get McLean to the plate? He is in there. Four to one, and the Reds have finally scored here in game number two, thanks to that RBI double by Shay Langoliers. Now, Spencer Steer is gonna get hit. So tying run to the play, it's Ellie De La Cruz. He annihilates one, left center field. Oh, Isbell gets to it. 104 off of the bat, Shay will tag to get to third, but they're on the corners with two outs for TJ Friedel. He hits one hard, center field. Oh my goodness, it's caught. I mean, those are some loud outs by the Reds, both with Ellie and Friedel. And unfortunately, we can only get one run out of that with the Shea Langoliers double. Michael Kopech will go one, two, three in the top of the sixth. But still, the Reds find themselves down by three. Dylan Lesko's day is done. Here comes Jay Groom. The righty comes in today with an area of 4.5 after 150 innings pitched in the regular season. And Bryce Harper does hit one hard. But yet again, another loud out for Cincinnati. This time, though, Kyle Tucker hitting at 96 miles an hour off the bat will get one to go into left center. So here comes Teoscar Hernandez. Can we get back-to-back -back knocks? Oh, my goodness. Tremendous defense being played by the Padres. Bogarts with the dive and the turn to get two outs. Tommy Edmond now comes up to lead off the top of the seventh. He will go down. And Hassan Kim going to hit one off the leg of Michael Kopech, who is able to extend his outings. That'll be a single, though, for him. A runner on first, one out. Garrett Hampson, the batter. That's strike three looking. Kopech goes up and in on the fastball. Two down at four, Fernando Tatis Jr. And Mando going to hit one in the right field and straight to Kyle Tucker. 4-1 is still the lead for the Padres. Can the Reds get some back? Matt McLean to the plate. There you go. Stay fair, ball. Matt McLean, right field. It does stay fair. Matt McLean will get one back for the Reds. 4 2. Now the score. 374 feet off the bat of Matt McLean as he drives one in a deep right field. Now it's a two run game. All it takes is a bloop and a blast. And we'll see where we're at. Still in the bottom of the seventh, Xavier Isaac chops one up the middle. There is still another base knock for the Reds. And look now, 
time run back to the plate. It's Shea Langoliers. Oh my goodness. I guess fooled on the sweeping curve. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle of the plate. Spencer Steer will now pop out into foul ground. We'll have two gone for Ellie De La Cruz, hitting one hard into left field. That ball's going to get down. First and second, two outs. Tying run to first. Go ahead, run to the plate. Tom Cosgrove, the lefty, going to come in and pitch. And we'll see TJ Friedel first. Friedel goes opposite way. Get down ball. It does. I, I can't send Isaac here. Going to leave him loaded for Bryce Harper on the 2-1. Harper goes deep left field. Oh, my goodness. That ball just does not have the carry. I thought it did. Could have got a lot more. The Reds leave him loaded. It's a 4-2 game. Matt Strom now going to come in and try to keep this a two-run game as he will see Jesus Sanchez first, and he'll get Sanchez to pop one out to Shea Langoliers. We have one gone in the inning for Xander Bogarts on the 2-1 pitch. Bogarts going to hit that ball in to right. It gets through. It's a one-out single for him. Bogarts on first base now for Jake Cronenworth. The Crone zone in the 2-2 hits one on the ground. Ellie De La Cruz turn it. Matt McClain over to Bryce Harper. There is your double play for the Reds. Still, though, down by two with six outs to work with. John Curtis, the pitcher for San Diego. He's pitched two-thirds so far in the postseason, has not given up a run, and he will now get his third out of the playoffs as he will get the fly out of one Kyle Tucker. Here comes Teosco Hernandez, still looking for his first postseason hit. Teo strikes out in a slider away. Matt McClain got us to two runs, but right here, he will fly out into right. So a 4-2 game going into the top of the ninth. We'll keep Matt Strom in the game. But Ethan Salas right there will go lefty-lefty and hit one up the middle for a leadoff base hit. Kyle Isbell goes lefty-lefty two. He hits one on the ground. Ellie makes the turn. Oh, we can't get two, but De La Cruz gets the out at second. We will now bring in Daniel Hudson just to play matchups. And also, I mean, Strom's pitched a lot already in this game. So he'll see Tommy Edmond on the one-two pitch. Ball's hit. Oh, just barely over the head of Spencer Steer. That is going to bring a runner to third. Yes, they're on the corners with one out for the leadoff man. Ha Sung Kim, one, two, offering. Swag and a miss. Slider away sets him down. We've got two outs in the inning for Garrett Hampson on the 2-1. Hampson can hit one shallow center field. Friedel charging in, and he will put him away. The Reds need two runs to continue this game as we go on to the bottom of the ninth. And Yel De Los Santos, the closer for the Padres, who is near a 54 over one thirds comes in to start this ninth inning and Xavier Isaac just like that has put the time run to the plate. He mashes one into the left center field gap. Here comes Shea Langoliers, the catcher on the two one. Oh, he just did it. Shea ties the game here in the bottom of the ninth. Shea Langoliers absolutely clutch. 429 feet. This is a guy who started the regular season playing on the damn Sacramento Athletics. He is now turning to be a postseason hero for the Reds. He has kept us alive here in game number two. We are knotted up at four apiece. And now the Reds have a chance to win the game with Spencer Steer on the one, two. Oh, Steer strikes out on a slider. To the plate now, Ellie De La Cruz. On the three, one, he walks. And you don't want to put that guy on first. The Padres go back to the pen and go to Luis Patino. Luis Patino will see TJ Friedel first. Friedel holds. And Ellie takes second. Winning run in scoring position. TJ Friedel, the batter on the 2 2. Oh, he gets under a fastball. Two gone. Bryce Harper's 0 for 4. He now gets a chance to win the game on the 3 2 pitch. Harper's clutch! Right center gets down, and that's the game. Bryce Harper with the game winning RBI double, and the Cincinnati Reds win here at home in game number two. It was something the Padres failed to do in game number one, come back in the ninth inning, but the Reds show them how it's done. Once down four, nothing. The Reds come storming back and win this game 5-4. And you got to give credit to the bats, yes, but also to the pitching staff that held the Padres to four. I mean, shout out to Jose Arquiti, giving up four runs in the first inning and keeping the Padres at four the rest of the game. So shout out to Arquiti and the guys in the bullpen as well. Strom, Hudson, Kopech. 
keeping the Padres at four and allowing the Reds bats to take over this game and win this one by a score of five to four. Bryce Harper with the walk off. He is clutch in the postseason. He was 0 for four, but I don't think anyone cares about those first four at bats anymore. So folks, thank you for watching episode number 44 of the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. This game was absolutely electric as the Reds now look to win the series over in San Diego tomorrow night for game number three. Folks, thank you for watching and Mamba forever.